gloomy out today good morning happy sunday welcome back to the channel if you're new or if you're not i appreciate you regardless make sure to give this video a like because it means a lot subscribe if you want to stick around just an american who is slowly getting adjusted to living in tasmania australia it's uh loving it so far but everything is just so much slower pace and i'm used to everything just being so fast and everyone moving fast and everything happening so fast that it's definitely an adjustment and uh we're working through it together i guess the mountain is not out at all today it's uh pretty cloudy it's like crazy to think that normally there is a mountain right there finally started reading one of the books i brought with me from the states just your classic i guess romance nonfiction with my New York City Metro card as my bookmark. What a classic. Also picked these up yesterday at the Hobart bookstore, just with like all of the loss uh, and grief that I've been going through in my life recently. I just thought that these were such sweet gifts. Basically it's like a journal for your parents to fill out to get to know them a bit better. And it's just like a keepsake to have. So I thought that was super cute. Mini update, these are actually so, so good. Like, my camera is like having trouble focusing today with how cloudy it is, but these are so bomb. They are individually packaged. It's just, they're so expensive. Like literally you get three of these and I think it was like $7. So definitely not something I'll be doing often, but it is really good. It's like a little sweet, but definitely very filling for like an afternoon pick me up. It's been a relatively chill, and cloudy Sunday afternoon. Just going through a bunch of publications in the literature that um, could be related to my potential research topic. So yeah, just, you know, gotta start somewhere. Lots of reading, except I'm doing this thing where I found I did it a lot in the last year too when I was doing my courses like virtually before getting to Australia is I'll like have a video or something playing in the background while doing it just cause I don't know. I don't know, is that weird? I can't always focus on both at the same time and I'll pause the video, but yeah. Also completely random, but everything in like the figure skating community for the Olympics and all the drama that's going on with that has been heavily recommended to me on YouTube. And so I just started watching them and it's actually so interesting. Like there's so much drama in the figure skating community and there's some insanely good commentary channels that have been talking about it. This one, I guess it's just Fran. She's really good, and then I'm gonna feel bad if I don't shut out like the first one that I found. So one sec, let me find it. And then this is the first one that I found, and she did like a lot of coverage on the Olympics and just kind of talking about um, different issues going on in figure skating right now. And yeah, it's very amusing actually, weirdly enough. Like I do really enjoy watching the Olympics and I find that when the Olympic season does roll around, I get quite invested. Like I was so invested in everything going on with women's gymnastics this past summer, like I was invested. And similarly, I wasn't as invested with the Winter Olympics just cause I've had a lot going on, but question of the day, do you get invested into the Olympics, summer, winter, both? And if so, what sports? Because I just find it so interesting. I'm like, you guys are so talented and I'm here sitting on my ass eating a protein ball and reading stuff about seals. That's how you spend a lovely Sunday afternoon. <laughs> Looking at the weather for literally the next like week and a half, it's just all rain. But I think the thing that surprised me the most about the weather is it says it is gonna rain or at least a good chance it's gonna rain. And then it's really just misty. Like it doesn't really, like I'm used to like pouring down rain when it says it's gonna rain. I don't know if it's like a 
Tasmania thing, an Australian thing, but at least back home in the States, if it says it's gonna rain, it rains pretty hard. Whereas here, it's such a light drizzle to the point where at least when I've been walking outside, I'm like, do I even need a raincoat or like an umbrella? Because it's not hard, it just kind of looms over for a while. I don't know the science behind it, but if anyone knows, I'm curious. <laughs> something in my contact please hold oh my god mm. the next day now just trying to get organized go through the planner see what's going on had a mini freak out session because i found a bug in my bed this morning but thankfully just a beetle maybe like came in from the window i don't know but uh had a mini freak out session so that was lovely to wake up to my friend from home was adorable and gifted me note cards for my birthday which was right before i moved here and I was gonna send those two books to my parents today over in the States, this lighting. <laughs> Hello. So I was gonna write out those note cards, get organized, usual stuff. Made some more coffee for at home, posted on Instagram for the day, at Coffee Nut. And we're chilling for now, and it's actually raining today. We're misting, still only misting. Shipping things internationally is so much cheaper here. Like the two books, it was like 0 0.7, so like around 700-ish grams. And it was barely 35 Australian. Whereas in the States, my parents tried sending me something and it was almost 100 US for like a couple pieces of clothing. It's insane. It like blows my mind because shipping internationally doesn't seem that much more expensive than shipping domestically. I don't know. Not in the sense of like shipping domestically from the post office. Yes, obviously that's gonna be a lot cheaper than shipping internationally. But I mean, just in the sense of like when you order something online, shipping is so expensive even within this country. Whereas shipping internationally honestly isn't, like yes, obviously it's more, but it's a much smaller margin than what it is in the States, if that makes sense. Also my poor mother, story time. <laughs> My poor mother, she was so excited. I called her yesterday because I was telling her how expensive nail polish is here in Australia. I get it. I live on a tiny island off the coast of a bigger island, essentially. Manufactured goods, I get it, are gonna be expensive. It's over $15 for one thing of nail polish, Australian. And my mom immediately, when I told her that the other day, went out and bought me a bunch of really pretty nail polish colors from the States and she went to go try and ship it to me. And apparently it is illegal to mail nail polish internationally for different safety reasons with like change in pressure and whatnot on long flights and everything. But she was like, do you wanna hear how much the nail polish was? I was like, sure mom, let's hear it. Seven US dollars, so close to like 10-ish Australian and it's like 15 Australian plus here. And I'm just like, oh, I'm so jealous. See, just like things like that, I'm like, Definitely living more of a minimalistic lifestyle for sure, which is very similar to what it was like when I lived in New Zealand. I was just like, oh, I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't need that. I'll just buy coffee and food and life will be okay. That thing is still in my eye, by the way. Downsides of wearing contacts, I guess. Just got off the phone with my parents. Now let's go to my new favorite grocery store here in Australia because the cookies that I got last week were apparently on sale, so crossing my fingers. It was misting and now it's not raining anymore. I swear we're living in a cloud of sorts. Oh, the coals, that was really good. Yeah, I'm gonna get these, uh, not today, but <laughs> when it's closer to Easter because they're vegan. So much cheaper. Oh, that's not bad at all. Yeah, only six bucks. That's not bad at all. 
shortbread and Zach. <gasps> Here they are. Two seventy-five, say fifty cents. Oh my god, these are so bomb. It's taking everything in me not to get like five packs of these. Oh, I'm so excited. Those are vegan too. Those look so good. What? Oh, there's no, yeah, I was gonna say, there's no way these Cadbury ones are dairy free. Plant based cookies, cupcakes, muffins. Woolies would never. Literally, this is the exact thing I got last week, and now it's 30% off. No! Oh, uh, of course. I love it, baby. Yeah, oh my god, yeah, they have a whole Easter section. But yeah, I don't think they have Fix and Fog here. I think I'm gonna have to go to Woolies for that one. Oh, that's a bummer. They do have picks, though. I don't know what those are. Oh, like yogurt covered. Oh yeah, we would have those. Oh, see, okay. Look how expensive these are. For what? You get three. They're so good, but they're so expensive. What was it? Someone recommended the hazelnut ones. But look, one of these is $3. <laughs> yeah. I eventually, maybe when they're on sale, but like that's insane. I wonder if you can make them yourself. Oh, I totally could make them myself. I've had Tom and Luke's before. They were in New Zealand. Oh. I've had these before, these, a lot of these brands. But yeah, no, $3 for one, that's a lot. <laughs> Do you have the, um, like this? I've never before? had Hannah before. I've seen it's plant based. Yeah, it's like six bucks. Yeah. yeah. I've had a lot of, I don't see it here, but Loving Earth is what I have in the fridge. And that's really good. Yeah. Damn, that's so expensive, even just for one. <laughs> I've had blue dinosaur bars before. I didn't really like them that much though. They weren't my favorite. Pretty much Oreos in America come in like these kinds of packs. Whereas you guys have a lot more of these sleeves. That's not 120, that's not horrible. What's yeah. Golden green. Golden Oreos, they're like vanilla Oreos. So it's vanilla, oh, vanilla. Friends. Yeah, those are my mom's fave. Yeah, you guys have a lot more American candy here than I was expecting. Sour Patch Kids. What is it? Nerds are down there. Skittles. Different kinds of Twix bars that I've never seen before. Baba Baba. All of these M&Ms. Yeah. All the Reese's. Yummy, yummy. Oh, Arrow Chocolate is so good. These are also so good, so expensive. $20, oh. I always get. Boost is good. It kind of reminds me of a tank. Um, a in It's this brand called Tank. Oh. It's kind of like a boost store sort of shop, uh, but it's in New Zealand. This one looks good. But you said it reminds me of tank. No, it's like called Tank. Um, this one kind of looks good. Got the groceries. So tempted. Yeah, two plates for $5. About to go to Kmart. Two puzzles from Kmart. Very excited. Yeah, I reckon we could do the cat one first. But all the veggie burgers were on sale. Turkey breast was on sale. Chips were on sale. Not the tortillas. I think the milk was. Beef, chicken. Literally starved the show, already had one. My vegan cookies, incredible. They're on sale right now, in case you guys are wondering. 50 cents off, some spices. This juice. What else? Oh, this, like, I definitely did not need, but I was interested. It's like, just like a vegan rice cup, I guess. Chips and sweet potatoes. Fun stuff. Oh, you, like, already opened yeah. it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it's another packet. Well, that's good to save so you don't like, lose the pieces. This is like a good size table, I guess. Because I'm used to just like doing it on the floor. So this is like a lot better for your back. <laughs> like I'm used to like punching over. 